So I might have to get a new office mic. When I first rented this little writing space, everything was perfect. I would usually be walking out of the building just as all of the other office monkeys were arriving. And then doing the reverse at the end of the day as everybody's leaving the building like I'm heading back in and these are the best times for me to write. But since coming back from the summer, the office next door to me has been rented to someone who has my exact schedule. As far as I can tell, at seven in the morning, there is nobody else in this entire building except two guys in adjacent offices, one of which who wants to be talking out loud the crazy things that he is writing, and the other one who wants to be talking to China on the phone about douchebaggy sounding business things in a really loud voice. I can't work under these circumstances, Mike. Time to pack up all of your electronics into a little napkin and yeah. hide them over a stick and mosey on down to the next office space. That's exactly right. Are you going to like seriously look for a new place now? Do you think this is some kind of joke? None. <laughs> wow. Do I sound like I'm joking to you? <laughs> you do not now. Uh, why don't you just try and force him out? You're very Machiavellian, Mike. This would not have occurred to me. You think I should be playing fight song out my speaker oh, all God. morning long? This yep. is trying to make business calls. Yep, that song's back in my head again. I did peek in his office, though, because, of course, you can't help but spy a little bit. It was the most hilarious, stereotypical business office on the inside because he had a bunch of sticky notes up on the wall, oh, nice. but also also had a whiteboard with just words written on it. Impact, swiftness responsiveness well, just like randomly or like yeah. were they in sentences big big words just written out mm. can you not remember that like i would understand if it was written by a boss in a bigger office right right but if it's just him on his own does yeah. he need those reminders um, i think he sounds like a like a hard-working guy Minutes ago, you wanted me to harass him out of the office, which was not my plan. My plan was to simply relocate like a civilized person. I never said you should. I just wondered <laughs> if you had. <laughs> no. Have you moved office yet? <sighs> no. A bunch of people in the Reddit pointed out that you are more likely a problem to him than he is to you. You may hear him on the phone every now and then, but he's hearing you repeat yourself over and over and over again, reading through your scripts. Right, that I'm not locked in there with him, he's locked in there with me. Yeah. But I think a lot of people misunderstood that the the problem for me is not so much that I am hearing him. It is the simple knowledge that there is, without a doubt, someone nearby who hears me right through a wall. Have you considered that this person might be your mortal enemy no because if they know this about you right then it would make sense that the calls that he's having are nonsense because they're not real calls <laughs> he's just trying to put you off i do wonder what on earth this guy thinks about me because of any topic i have ever done this is by far and away the worst one for someone to just overhear someone talking oh. out loud next door the topic makes me sound like I'm a total sociopath if someone hears me just saying the lines out loud over and over again. With thunder sounds. Yeah, and like slightly changing them. And yes, yeah, sometimes with thunder sounds, if I think everybody's gone, I leave and I look next door and I just think, oh God, there's a section about like crushing your enemy. Right? And it's like, oh my God. Right? It's like, I don't know what this person thinks is happening next door. I mean, I honestly, I can sympathize. Who, who do you sympathize with though? Me or the guy? Because I always feel like you're on this guy's side every no, time we talk no. about this. The, with the way that you've explained it today, I am definitely on your side. Do you want to rule? Do you see the problems in your country and know how to fix them? If only you had the power to do so. Angels that build good works will lose to devils that don't. A gold mine can run with dying slaves. Your poor, poor, poor office mate. I don't know what you're talking about, Mike. I really don't need to draw any more attention to myself. <laughs>